then we wanted to take a look at some of the other indicators in Colorado to see how they compare to the United States as a whole. So basically what we're saying here is that the highest um, growth rates are occurring in Colorado as a whole among Asians and Latino populations. So there's growth occurring in other ones, but you can see where that's where the majority of the growth is occurring. Taking a look at high school graduation rates, you know, there are a few things that we look at to, uh, to determine and to assess the health of a place. And graduation rates is surely one of those. So if you want to know why we're choosing certain of these, it's because it's an indication of overall health. So again, when you take a look at, um, at, the, at the high school graduation rates, you see the largest population, Asians tend to be right um, and right below Asians or whites. And you have Latinos, Native Americans who are faring a little bit worse. What is also interesting in this next one is looking at median household income in Colorado to see how it compares. Clearly, Colorado's, um, you all are, have a higher income than the general population of America as a whole, with Denver being higher than the state as a whole. So let's take a look at unemployment rates, another indicator. So then who are the, how is Colorado as a, as a whole doing in terms of unemployment rates? With America's rate as a whole, 6.7, you have a much lower rate in your state. So this is looking like you have some good outcomes around graduations, around unemployment. Uh, let's take a look at how we look at that unemployment rate by race and ethnicity. So when you take a look at this, however, and you go a little bit deeper, you're seeing how Native Americans and Alaska Natives tend to have higher unemployment rates. Second highest is African Americans. And then you have Latinos. So we still need to make some changes in addressing some of those disparities. And then this is one that's dear to my heart because I've been working for years around childhood obesity. And so looking to see how you all are doing as a state related to America's obesity rate as a whole. So again, you see where we're talking about people of color who are tending to have these higher than average rates. Now we did have some encouraging news. I got a report last night from um, the CDC had a study published in Journal American Medical Association that's shown that childhood obesity rates are dropping finally in a significant way that we've been waiting for this to happen for, an, for quite a long time. So in 20, 20, uh, 2003 to 2004, the country's childhood obesity rates was 14%. 2011, 2012, it's dropped to 8%. So we're really pleased and we want to make sure that whatever we're doing to make that change happen, we can continue to do that but we also have to make sure that we don't get just be so happy that these rates are addressed, are being declining, unless we also make sure that it's addressing those populations who are already suffering the highest disproportionate rate. 